Hi, Year 11. So, the most important thing about tomorrow's exam. Do keep calm and carry on. Right, so this is a last minute sort of revision, uh, revision video about the unseen section of the exam, section B. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be referring to In Paris With You by James Fenton. So, if you want to read this, it's on page 52 of your anthologies. I think it would, it would really help. Right then, so, as before, we're going to refer to Art Wars, and I'm actually going to try and focus in on some of the stanzas here, but you'll be able to access this if you're just sort of listening as well. Um, right, so, Art Wars. What is, what is this poem about? Well, as we've done in previous videos, have a look at the title. This poem is about being in Paris with somebody. We don't really know who this person is. That could be significant. And we find out that we are in a hotel room. Um, it sounds a bit creepy, but actually, you know, where the, po the poem itself is set in a hotel room with the narrator, who may or may not be James Fenton, and this person. The repeated ideas. The repeated ideas for me are that there has been this relationship that's come to an end, and the person has started to move on, but has actually gone to Paris with somebody else, maybe as a means to help him to move on from the previous relationship. Um, I hate to admit this as an English teacher, but I do watch Made in Chelsea, and it, this has a lot of similarities with what Spencer, um, Spence, Spence Matthews seems to have been doing um, with, with Lucy uh, Watson when they went to Paris. Um, as I say, apologies for that. Let's get back to it. So, repeated ideas. The other repeated idea of that is that it is now that matters. There's this real sense that actually what matters is what's going on right now. What matters is being in Paris with you. And if you see, at the end of every single stanza, bar one, that's repeated. I'm in Paris with you. I'm in Paris with you. I'm in Paris with you. So, tone. It's an odd tone, really. I think the tone of this poem is a mixture of brutally honest um, and resigned to what's actually happened. There's also a, an element of being playful here, saying sod off to sodding Notre Dame, skipping the Champs-Élysées. Individual words. Difficult. I think straight away I'm um, attracted to two in the first stanza. We've got wounded and marooned. So, wounded, first of all, obviously, this person feels wounded, presumably he has heartache, unless his, uh, his ex has, has clobbered him. But also, this idea of marooned and marooned, he feels lost. He's not quite sure what is going to happen in the future. And so he's decided to have this intense experience in the present, this person. Also, it should say, I'm marooned, but it says, I'm marooned. There's an element... And Aspect, uh, there's a, a suggestion that actually this is a playful poem, and also we hear that I get tearful when I've downed a drink or two. Maybe our narrator is a little bit worse for wear. Okay. A. Traditionally, the one I have trouble with alliteration. Well, we have a few things here, and if anything, actually, I think this reveals the emotion of the poem. Sod off to sodding Notre Dame is very emphatic. We've got a very, very sort of Intense feelings going on here. This guy's defiant. Rhyme and rhythm. There's a lovely rhythm to this poem, I think. The interaction of the of the lines is very important. If you take again this first stanza, and talk to me of love, I've had an ear for, and I get tearful when I've downed a drink or two. I'm one of you talking wounded. I'm a hostage. I'm marooned. It's an unpredictable rhyme scheme, but it's quite a pleasant one. When we hear it, it's gentle. Rhythm-wise, unpredictable as, again, th th there's a great mixture of end stop lines, so with the no enjambement on there, and then ones that do have enjambement, and I think that has, has a, an effect. What that is, is up to you. And then finally, structure. We've got a very interesting structure here. If we have a look, the first two stanzas are very regular. We then have a very much indented stanza, which is the longest in the poem, and then two more regular ones. I wonder if this middle one is 
important? For me it is because it actually talks about the absolute intense present. Let's stay in this old hotel room doing this and that to what and whom. Do you mind if we do not go to the Louvre? It's almost a direct address to the reader, even though we know he's talking, the narrator is talking to the person that's there. So there's Art Wars, there's the structure. Whatever poem is given to you, whatever is thrown in front of you, make sure that you focus on whatever that question asks. Okay, so if it is asking about love, then focus on the Art Wars elements that you can relate to love. Focus your whole structure around that. Okay, do tune in for one final, final vid, but I hope this has been useful. Very, very good luck tomorrow. I wish you all the best. Thanks a lot.